Hi there, physicists. It's Mr. Clegg. Today I'm going to teach you how to study for a physics test. Okay, so first of all, you can see I have my space set up. Uh, I've got my physics book. I've got my old homeworks here with something on top, so you'll see why in just a second. I've got my calculator. I don't want my phone here. Let's get rid of that thing. And I have my laptop here so I can see the instructor's solutions that they posted for us of our, our past homeworks. And so the, the technique here is that we're going, to, we're going to repeat every homework problem in the unit and we're gonna do it very fast and efficient. Okay, we're gonna practice only the parts that we need to practice in order to, uh, yeah, we're not gonna practice easy stuff and we're not gonna practice all the steps. I'll give you an example of how this works. We're gonna do problem number 30 from chapter five in the G and Coley book. It says, and first thing we're gonna do is read, we're gonna read the problem. Calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. The moon's radius is blah and its mass is blah. So 30, and I've got my scratch paper stacked up here. Uh, One-sided paper, as soon as I get done with this, I'm just gonna recycle it. So I got chapter five, number 30, and I'm gonna go calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. I'm going to set this up. So here's the moon, I've got um, Fg equals gm moon over r moon squared. All right, not Fg, I meant to say g moon, there we go. And let's see, so I need to know, I got the radius, I've got the mass, I know what g is. I think I'm done with that one. Boom, let's do the next one. What's the next problem? All right, so you see I didn't actually spend time actually doing the problem, I just satisfied myself that I knew how to do it. Okay, let's do the next one, 36. Okay, let's take a look what 36 does. 36 says, a certain neutron star has five times the mass of our sun packed into a sphere about 10 kilometers in radius. Estimate the surface gravity on this monster. I remember doing this problem. Okay, so the mass of this neutron star is five times the mass of what? Let me see that again. Mass of our sun, five times the masses of our sun. Okay, packed into a what does it say? Packed into a sphere about 10 kilometers in radius. R is 10 kilometers. All right, so now maybe I'm a little bit stuck. Oh, what should I do? So here's where I uncover what I did before. This is my homework that I did before. I did this out nicely. It took me a long time. Ah, okay. Here it is. I've got G equals G. Okay, yeah. No, I got it. So I'm going to put G equals g m n over r okay wait now i'm still a little bit stuck i'm going to go back here and see what i see how i'm keeping this covered up because i want to see if i know how to do this but if i don't i'm peeking all right there we go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually oh, i'm just going to calculate it yeah put g put five times the mass of the sun i'm going to put uh i'm going to put the 10 kilometers down there and I'm just gonna be able to calculate it. Okay, so I got the mass of the sun equals that. And I think, I think I'm, oops, I forgot to square that, right? I think I'm good on that one too. Uh, maybe I'll do a calculation if I feel like I need to. Okay, one more problem I'm gonna do right now. So actually I'm, I'm gonna recycle that. I'm convinced that I know how to do that. I'm gonna, oh, the other thing I'm gonna do is on my formula sheet that I'm allowed to take to the test, my half page that my teacher lets me have. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make sure that this is on here. Uh, G M over R squared. I'm gonna make sure that that's on there. And I'm gonna start adding more and more things to that. Okay, let's do one more problem. All right, the next one we're gonna do is 39. Oh, this is a, this is a tough one, I'm gonna recycle that. We're going to do 39. Okay, so here's 39. It says, four 9.5 kilogram spheres are located at the corners of a square of sides 0.60 meters. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the total gravitational force exerted on one sphere by the other three. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to set it up. Do my little sketch. All right, what do we have? We have 9.5 kilograms. They're all the same mass. 
and we have. Uh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong problem. 0.60 on the side. This is my square. 0.60 meters. And now I'm going to take a look. So the thing is, let's let's calculate the force on here. So the force on here is going to depend on this one. It's going to be attracted here. It's going to be attracted here. And it's going to be attracted here, but a little bit less because that one's farther away. I know that the, the sum of all these is going to be along this line. And so what I have to do is I have to calculate the first one, F1 equals G mm. So it's just going to be m squared over uh, 0.60 meters squared. I'm going to do the same thing for Let's do this one, let's call that F3. F3 is going to be the same. So this is only in the X direction, this is only in the Y direction, and then F2 is going to be the same thing, but this one's going to be a little bit longer. Let's see, how do we do this? GM squared over, this one's going to be a little bit longer. How do I figure out the length of that side? Uh, so the distance here is going to be square root of 0.60 squared plus 0 0.60 squared okay and then whoops <laughs> okay let's see I think I'm on the right track here let me check okay that ends up being exactly what I did add up the components I know how to do that one good done I just did three problems and now you're gonna keep going with more and more and you can actually review all the problems in the whole unit when it gets final exam time you can do all the problems in the whole semester if you do them quick like that all right good luck let me know if you have any questions see ya